All right, let's look at number three. Definitely a little bit harder problem, but still not one that I would say is out of the question on the test. Although if I were to ask it, I'd probably at least give you some guidance on how to go about it. Some kind of, I right, do this, then do the next step kind of thing. Anyway, um, the problem reads like this. I'm watching a football game, and the home team kicks a punt. The announcer told me that it went 4 seconds and 76 meters downfield. Knowing this fine v naught, both the magnitude and the direction of the kick as it left the foot. All right, um, this isn't actually as bad as it sounds, but what I need to do is two steps. I need to find v naught x and v naught y, and then I need to combine those together using Pythagoras' theorem and arctangent, or tan negative 1, to find the angle and the overall magnitude. Now, v naught x is easy because there's no air resistance in this problem. It's just distance divided by time. It's 76 meters divided by the 4 seconds. 76 divided by 4, that's 19. So my kick leaves with an x velocity of 19 meters per second. Indeed, actually goes 19 meters per second the whole time the ball is in the air, at least in the x direction. Now, the y direction is a little bit harder because it's got gravity in it. Now, the y direction here, the first thing I know is the time to apogee is 2 seconds because the whole thing took 4 seconds. It's got to go to equal time up and down. So if it took two seconds to go the basic distance to apogee, it took two seconds more for it to fall back from that peak height back to ground. I know that I've got an acceleration. That's negative 9.8 meter a second square. And, well, at apogee, I know that V final... Oh boy, that's wrong. Apologies. I know that V final is Vy final is zero meters per second because it's stopped momentarily as it changes directions, which is enough information to find v not y. All right, that's enough information because I'm using the formula v final y equal v initial y plus the acceleration in the y direction times time. That is, 0 equals my v not y plus negative 9.8 times 2. Or, well, negative v not y equal negative 19.6 meters a second. Or, more simply, getting the negative signs, equals a positive 19.6 meters per second. So these are my starting velocities. So as I said, v not y, 19.6 meters second, v not x equal to these two, came out to 19 meters a second. In other words, this acts like a triangle. My x velocity is 19 meters per second, and my y velocity, at least at launch, is 19.6 meters a second, so almost 45 degree angle. So we know if we do the math right, we're close to 45 degrees. I need to find theta. Theta is easy. Theta is equal to the inverse tangent, tan negative 1, of 19.6, the opposite, over the adjacent 19. That is, if I put that through my calculator, tan inverse 19.6 divided by point or 19 comes out to 45.8 degrees. Just slightly more, 48 point, let's say 9 degrees actually just slightly more than 45 degrees like we expected. Now the magnitude of the, the kicked velocity, v naught is going to be the Pythagorean sum of my y component and my x component. That is, v naught squared equals v naught x squared plus v naught y squared. Or, v naught equals the square root of those things. So, 19.6 squared plus 19 squared, or v naught comes out to, throw it into the calculator, 19.6 squared plus 19 squared. 27.29. 27.3 meters per second. So my final answer is my kick was at 27.3 meters per second at an angle of 45.89. Excuse me for writing that out wrong. 45.89.
Why won't you let me write on this? There we go. 45.9. So apologies for the typo there, or the write-o, or whatever mistake it was. My final answer should come out to 27.3 at 45.9 degrees.